Hello, I'm Dr. Anthony Pilney of Arizona Exotic Animal Hospital. And this is Wally. And today we're here to bring you up to speed on a very important disease affecting rabbits that you may have heard of. It's called rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus. And the disease is lethal and sweeping across the United States as we speak. And today we're gonna to discuss five important points about the disease as we educate and learn how we can protect our rabbits. First, RHD is moving fast. The disease was originally identified in wild rabbit populations in a small county in Arizona back in 2020. Since then, the virus has mutated and it's very likely that by the time you watch this video, the disease may have spread further beyond the 23 states that it's already been identified in. Second, get used to the word fomite. A fomite is a vehicle or an inanimate object that can transmit disease. And in the case of rabbit hemorrhagic disease, it's important to understand how many fomites could affect rabbits. Their feed, hay, even vegetables are potential vehicles to transmit the disease. But we don't want you to panic. Basically, we need to understand there are steps that you can take to prevent the transmission of fomites. And remember, the fomite isn't the virus. The fomite acts as the vector to transmit the virus, which again is why we have concerns about the origin of feed hay, and even vegetables that we feed rabbits. And again, speaking of transmission, don't forget about dogs and cats, because they certainly can act as fomites or vehicles to transmit the virus as well. Third, RHDV affects rabbits, hares, and pikas. But much like Wally here and his millions of friends and cousins, the disease does affect both wild and domestic rabbits. And rabbits are really the main focus of what we're looking at with this disease. Keep in mind, rabbits are the third most popular pet in the United States, and they deserve all the right care, veterinary attention, and addressing any of their medical needs that any other pet would. Having your rabbit seen by a veterinarian for annual physical exams, checking their vitals, taking their temperature, and any other necessary veterinary care are something that we owe to all of these rabbits. Fourth, RHDV is fatal, but it just takes a pinch to protect against it. And even if your veterinarian isn't familiar with rabbits, the procedure to give the vaccine is the same as any other vaccination that is routinely given. We always wanna make sure rabbits are healthy before they receive the vaccine. So they need to receive a good physical exam, have their temperature taken, check their baseline vitals, ensuring they are healthy enough to receive it. And again, just one pinch for protection, administering the vaccine under the skin, the same way your veterinarian administers any other vaccination, is a simple and straightforward process. We recommend rabbits be healthy enough to receive the vaccine, and we also recommend that owners watch them to ensure they remain healthy after receiving the vaccine. Fifth, and most importantly, spread the word, please. Rabbits are important animals, and we can work together towards their protections and try to stop this deadly disease. At the end of this video, you'll see links to some important information about ways we can prevent RHDV2, vaccinations, and taking steps towards stopping this threat to our rabbits. Thank you for your time today. Are we ready to say goodbye? Of course not, because we want you around forever. Remember to learn about RHDV2 and all the ways that we can protect our rabbits.